Hey, Diane Sawyer, you got two minutes. Diane Sawyer, really? This is a big interview. I was just trying to lighten the mood. Don't. I like it better when you're serious. Okay. Well, let's be serious. Have you made a decision? You have less than two minutes to decide. But Leah, I want you to know that no matter what you choose, I'm going to be there for you. Devin. I'm going to level with you. People deserve the truth this time. That's not what people want to hear, though. I'm in a lose-lose situation. It's either false story or the unpopular facts. Well, you're going to have to decide which one is more important. The image of the truth or the actual truth. Leah, just in case. So you're the one they threw to the sharks. I hope you can swim. Nice to meet you too, Colonel. We're losing time, Devin, let's go. All right, people, we're going live in five, four, three, two. Hello, I'm Leah Howell for United World News. I'm here with Colonel David Miller of the U.S. Army here to update us on the Sudan war effort. First, let me congratulate you on another successful mission, Colonel. This is your second peacekeeping mission in Sudan. Your work in that country has been described as effective and flawless. Thank you, Ms. Howe. The American people want to know, what's your secret? No secret, Leah. My men and I can assess the situation and overcome any obstacle with ease. Your most recent campaign was a peacekeeping mission in Darfur. Please, tell us more. Correct. Darfur is a poor land plagued with illegal gun running and terrorist training camps. Our job was to eliminate the mastermind behind the area's illegal arms trade. This mastermind was Daniel Voler, known traitor to U.S. secrets. Yes, that's correct, ma'am. He was smuggling arms into Iran and Yemen, presumably aiding enemies of the United States. Your report also states that there were no U.S. casualties. Our men did not meet any resistance. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you are saying that a powerful fugitive like Valer didn't have a personal detail? We did face a small group of Valer's men, but I did not consider them resistance. Excuse me. I'm sorry, sir, but how many men were protecting Volaire? Twenty, if memory serves. Twenty multiplied by ten? My sources are reporting over 200 casualties. Was this mass killing sanctioned by our military? Did the Sudanese government approve? How did you- Your peacekeeping mission sounds more like genocide. Can you- David Volaire- I'm not finished, sir. Can you justify Daniel Volaire's life in place of 200 innocent Sudanese? What kind of sacrifice is that? Not just as a reporter, but as a human being, how does that make any sense? I do not have to justify my choices to you or anyone else. Choices. My directive was to eliminate Daniel Valaire. And that's what I did. This has been Colonel David Miller on the Sudan War Effort. Thank you for your time. Colonel, the cameras are off. Tell me, what's your secret? My dear, dear girl. 
It's people like you who make people like me into monsters. If you saw what's hiding in the dark, you know who the real monsters are. I get blood on my hands so you won't have to. But every now and then, something gets in the way. The civilians got in the way of Valer. So I removed the obstacle. I made Valer suffer, and I won't lose any sleep tonight. Colonel, when it comes to the truth, I won't lose any sleep tonight either.